As your brain turned to pudding, raise me, child. That pear gives you a strong hand. Uh... You're bricking it, eh, Squirt? Oh, what did I teach you? Raise the stakes and crush your opponents. All in, Granny. Look. Now, Sam, but he can't beat mine. A quarter of aces, that trances your end. Hey, that's not fair. No, plain mean. Out you go now. Come back in a bit. I'll teach you the Texas scolding where you glare hard. Okay, Granny, never a boring minute with you. Promise we'll play tomorrow. Speaking of dosh, this is no cash cow. I won't ever be sitting pretty if I keep playing brats for biscuits. Shaky legs now come in 50 shades of grey. Improve your assets. I need 50 shades of dosh for a facelift. It's quite simple, son. I want you to give me a facelift. Pronto. It's a matter of life and death. You always exaggerate, Mummy. You can wait a few more years, can't you? Blimey, sunny boy, I thought you lived by the golden rule. Help thy mum. Your clinic's motto is beauty and the best. I need to look my best. It's time to carve up your money, Sonny. Hold on, Mum. Hmm. How odd. She's always said natural ageing is a woman's best asset. This change is strange. I can hear you, idiot. But, Mum, why this sudden desire for cosmetic surgery? If anyone ask, just say you don't know. Repeat after me. I'll do anything for you, Mum. Mum, natural mente, mother dear. See, but so crazy. The whole familia, that's 140 creme patients, darling. Think about it. That's right. Sharp as a tack. I'll be the clinic's mascot. Advertising in the flesh. See you tomorrow morning, but not too early. Full body overhaul! Full body overhaul! Mum, I love you the way you are. The whole family does. Be brave, Folderol. It's better this way. Stop! I cannot let you use our poor old mother as a guinea pig. Folderol, go with the flow. Chill. Mum is thoroughly modern, but you, you need to work on it. Me? You, conforming, got the body image blues. You're a big liar, Granny. Don't worry, Tiger. I'll be back soon to give you a good freshing. Stop snivelling and practice your poker while I'm away. Remember, lose a granny, gain a femme for tall. Guinea pig! Guinea pig! Now this should freak him out, shouldn't it? They'll be sweating, eh, granny? Oh, pay to see, sweet cheeks. But granny, that's so lame. Here, take that in your face. Oh, you got me there, little bugger. So, on your way to expert level, eh? Won't say you're the best player, but you're moving up. They don't do a hatchet job on you. Hurry home, Granny. I'm bored. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> What's happening at Cassie's? It's on the news. Now a report on a local mother who overnight turned to a life of crime. After looting the lotto, the lout was sent straight to jail and wasn't allowed to scratch a single ticket. <laughs> Caught on camera robbing a lottery ticket counter with a chainsaw. What a nut! Wow, how random! What did she swipe, Cassie? Any winning tickets? Oh no, a stack of scratchables like Cash Vegas. If she'd held up a bar with Chippendale dancers or run into a fire station screaming blazing saddles, I'd understand. This, it's beyond me. It's sad, but you stay and have dinner with us, Cassandra. Any table for 142 can hold 143. Yes, stay for dinner, Cassie. Hey, wait. All on your own, are you? A foster child. We'll have to adopt you. Foster child, foster child. Hey, no what called Lus Ms. McGritz, your uptight heart rob is a thug, a gangster. No, impossible. You're talking nonsense, Squirt. Yes, she is. She's already doing time for, oh dear, oh dear, I'm oh, robbery. It's a miscarriage of justice, but I'll get her out of this. Fine, but I only called you to ask if you've seen Granny. Sorry, can't help you, cousin. I'm at a Boy Scout camp in Arizegypt, but I heard she got out of the clinic two days ago. No, the ambulance driver must have got the wrong address because we haven't seen her. We're all very worried. <laughs> Wow. 
อดเย้ she's home she's home granny huh miss mcgris ah is that you little shh you wake up the old tribe ah What are you doing here? Uh, looking for my daughter. Uh, where's she crashing? Uh, I mean, do you know where my t o l l dub is sleeping? You're looking for Cassandra in my granny's bookshelf. I might look stupid, but I'm not. You're a robber. I'm going to call my parents. Don't be silly, little one. They've released me. I'm white as snow. Take my word. Now tell me where my dear sweet Cassandra is. Hmm, you win then. Cassandra's sleeping in Caprice's room tonight. Come on, I'll show you. <sighs> Yes, Mummy. I'm glad you got released from jail, but I was snoozing. My foster family is really nice. I'm sorry, her mother's out already. Yeah, bet you she'll be back in jail soon. I found her rummaging through Granny's belongings last night. Wants a gangster? Will you go play elsewhere? Don't you think my mum's weird? I sure do. Well, she must have met weird people in prison. Even her voice sounds different. Even I think she's acting weird. Shady reminds me of someone I know. You're always underfoot. Go on, scram! Robbers and crooks. Robbers and crooks. I'll find a way to prove your innocence, my sweet mule toe. Oh, mule toe, how sweet is thy breath in the moonlight! Mm. Ah, stop oh. it! No dogs! Yuck! Can't stand doggy kisses! I'll attribute that to a trauma caused by the injustice you've suffered. I won't hold it against you. Oh, what? I love you! <laughs> oh. I'll repair this injustice, my love. Prison only hardens hearts. What's next? What's next? t o d l e r s grab your crutches and come up front with Dad and me. Did you really go bungee jumping in the middle of the night? We need to teach you how to make up believable excuses like a good rich kid. <sighs> We're reporting live now from the prison where Ms. McBrisk, the robber with improved assets and Fifty Shades of Grey, awaits trial. Her before and after photos are fantastic. -y. Yes, what a splendid job. What a makeover. But I'll never understand why my mother would want to look like that. An odd choice. Cordless, turn off the TV. Oh, oh. oh, oh no. no, never. We're Granny's accomplices. Complicity? That can only mean one thing. Oh no, Mum is back at it again. Oh. Oh. Yay! You brought Granny home. We think she's hiding here. Where is she? How would I know? Caro mio, you locate the fugitive. I take care of recruiting. I'm all about business, business, business. Psst, Cassandra, over here. Well. Well. Ah, oh, can hardly wait to see how it went. Excited. Well, before I update you, I have a couple of things to tell you. 900 hours of community service wasn't enough. You wanted a taste of prison life too, huh? I won't let you destroy everything I've built, m u m m y Come out and fight like a man. Granny, you pulled the heist. Woohoo! You're so fab. Everybody dreams of looking beautiful. You know you do. The road to perfection is full of Botox. Nothing can compare with the thrill of liposuction or removing facelift bandages. Caprice, every problem has its solution. Yes, we can. We'll just sew Dixie's head on preventative medicine. Cosmetic surgery is the answer for everything. And after 142 children, you could use a mummy makeover. Bye bye, tummy wrinkles. How about it, Caramia? What does Beer Belly Hubby think of her cellulite? Eh? Is it why he's forever out in the veggie patch? Back off, sister-in-law. My crumpet bunny's beautiful just the way she is. Of course she is, my paparino. You really need a tummy tuck. Well, I still find my crumpet trumpet very desirable. My crumpet bunny's right and tight. Oh, tickle, 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 tickle. Aha! Found you. You can't get away with this. Come out of there, you little bandito incognito. <laughs> Dad, Mum, Granny's robber, Prading's Moose McBrisk, and everyone's going to spend 130 years in prison. This is wicked. Ridiculo! All lies. Crazy baby, p u t s o needs a good old-fashioned lobotomy. <laughs> Just joking. The clinica is clean, and we'll prove it. When the bandages are off, you'll see a brand new Granny. Just two more days. No, 
the damage to your body. Here, sign on the dotted line and we'll cut along your dotted line. No squeaks or leaks. I'm signing up, Auntie. This is too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hurry, hurry. Zero percent off for your first ten operations. Fantastico. <laughs> what have you done to Mummy, you scoundrel? <laughs> Chill, big brother. It takes time for the skin to flatten and smooth out. We have her in the post office now. Hurry, we must take her to the hospital. Where's your ambulance? Charlatan, you swindled our mother, but you won't get my wife or children as your next victims. They're minors. Aha, you need parental authorization. Don't expect me to give it. <laughs> I can't believe it. Crumpet bunny. No! Cross the line of decency. Because of you, an innocent woman sits rotting in prison. Police, open the boot of that car. You see, it's not her. Yo. Yo. Wrong victim. It's not nice taking the police on a wild goose chase. You'd better put Mummy back the way she was before you did this horrible operation. Very costly operation, brother. You got the dot. <laughs> Are you all in, Granny? Granny, are you? Shall I place a bet for you? Uh, go on then. You got a deal! <laughs> Hospital! Hospital! Wow! How does she do it? Game over. You're dead. Even bandaged up, Granny's still unbeatable. <laughs> Don't cry, Cass. Are you really up for adoption? We're cool with adopting. Aww. Cappy, how many years in jail do you think she'll get for armed robbery? At least seven. Maybe more for the chainsaw she was wielding. Glad to hear it! Bring on the good times! <laughs> <laughs>